Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will investigate the process of combustion inside a combustion chamber. Combustion is a result of chemical process between combustible materials and an oxidizing agent that is associated with the production of heat and the chemical change of raw materials. Heat can be released by producing light in the form of a flame or a glow. As mentioned earlier, burning is a type of oxidation reaction. However, due to the high speed of the combustion reaction, which leads to the production of high amounts of heat in a short time, the increase in the ambient temperature, and the creation of light and flame, it falls into a special category named combustion. In this project, the combustion of airflow and a fuel mixture is investigated inside a combustion chamber. The species model transport is activated in order to simulate the combustion process inside this chamber. The air enters the chamber from the lateral inlet and the fuel enters this chamber from the lower inlet. After the process is done, the exhaust mixture will exit the chamber from the, from the above outlet. The geometry of the present model is designed in design mode over software. Inside the combustion chamber, there are three main parts, including the air inlet pipe, the burner section, and the outlet pipe. Inside the chamber, there is a thin wall with several cavities of varying dimensions. The small cavities for cooling the chamber wall by a layering flow, and the big ones are to keep the flame in the middle of the chamber. The geometry of this model is meshed inside the ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured and the total element number is equal to 694,928. In the new window, by clicking on the air inlet, you will see that the type of this boundary condition is defined as mass flow inlet. By clicking on edit, we will be able to change the setting for this boundary condition. The type of boundary condition for outlet is defined as pressure outlet. In the species tab, you will see that the species boundary condition for this wall is defined as zero diffusive blocks for all the species, which means that no species can pass through this wall. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After clicking on the volume rendering button, a new window will appear, and in this window, we will select all domains in the domains part and the pressure variable, and then click on apply so that we can have the 3D pressure contour. The 3D velocity contour is shown in this picture. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.